Okay, let's... Well, first of all, let's heal. Just, just a little bit. I guess that is just a little bit. That's all the force powers I have. Yes. Well, let's... Now that we're a little bit healed, even though I'm still kind of limping, let's go into the West Lounge. We know nothing about it except that it's in the West. And this... Oh, crap. There's, like, two robots here. That, that might not be very good. Robots can be difficult, as you may have seen before, and but somehow we're all way healed now. I must have missed how that happened, because last time I checked, Jolie didn't have much force, and he certainly doesn't now. Let's, do we have any ion grenades? We do. Now's a good time to use one, I think. Oh, he sort of threw that over his... Uh, over his shoulder. That was an interesting shot. It's too bad he can't get that destroyed droid behind him as well, because it is an area effect force power. But it doesn't do me any good when people are on... when two droids are on opposite sides of the room. No, oh shit, shit. Um, you know, I should have used... I should have activated my energy shield is what I should have done. Oh well, too late now. I think we'll still be able to make this. Just throw it. I don't care that it's gonna hit us. It hurts the droid more than it hurts us. That's the whole point of it. My god, nothing is... barely even hurting it. We got anyone with power attack? No. Use power blasts, for God's sake. There's no reason not to. And why not use this? That'll probably finish it off. Yes, it did. Huzzah. Sure. This is not a door. This looks like a door. Apparently, it's just sort of a painting hung in classic Looney Tunes style to look like a door, to, to try and force me to be tricked into walking through it. And this doesn't look good, does it? Um, let's see, do I have any gas masks? Sometimes I've got a gas mask by now, I don't. And I don't have anyone who's healthy, but I do have a droid. And I think the droid can get through here. And I don't, I actually don't quite remember what the purpose of this place is, but yeah, droids don't breathe, so we're fine. What the fuck? All right, apparently this droid breathes. I was wrong. Oh, and by the way, sorry about the big delay between this video and last video. Um, yeah, when I stopped the recording for lag, I actually never started recording again. And for the past couple days, I've actually I've been trying to make another video. But... Like, I realized that I've only... I've uploaded nothing but KOTOR for the past four months, and I wanted to switch it up a little with a couple videos of something else, and I'm not going to tell you what that something else is just in case I actually get around to figuring out how to do it, but see, the thing is, I, oh shit, this, is there anything else I can do? I've spent the past couple days trying to see if I can make this, this new video that I want to make. But, to be quite honest, I don't see it happening. But yeah, there was just a couple of new videos that I was trying to make that I couldn't get the recording right for, for whatever reason. Uh, yeah, I was trying to record some footage from an NES emulator. And the built-in recorders... I managed to convert whatever files they made themselves, I I think I'll be able to make it through here with force speed and full health. Oh, shit, shit. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Fuck. Um, but anyway, yeah. If anyone knows of a good way to record from NES emulators, let me know. Because I'd really like to make... I'd really like to try and make these videos. Sure. But right now it's just not working because... Fraps just lags the hell out of any of the emulators that I've gotten my hands on so far. And, you know, it's the same story with the built-in... Well, the built-in emulators, like the built-in video recorders on the emulators, they actually work. But then, 
for some reason when I convert it to an AVI file, which is what I need to convert it to to be able to edit the video, the, the picture is all like completely fuzzy and you can't tell what the hell is going on on the screen. So it's just really annoying. Anyway, there's this set of pressure doors here. And if we try to go through the wrong ones, it will say the chamber beyond this door is filled with water. Well, you'll see, next to all the doors, are these door controls and flow controls. And some of them are malfunctioning. Warning. Activating flow control may flood occupied chambers. Please ensure all receiving chambers are empty. Abort. See, the thing is, this is one of KOTOR's very few puzzles. And so somewhere along the line, I should have picked up a data pad. Let me see if I can find it. Because, yeah, here it is, water pump analysis. Because there are six doors, three on each side, as you can see on this map. There are three different, uh, technically four doors on each side, three rooms. And you have to open and close the doors, like, and activate the pumps in the right order and stuff like that. So let's see what we can see. Commander Hasek. In regards to the system in place to cycle water from the ocean to the thermal... Fuck. To the thermal heaters, what were you thinking? What made you put that airlock mechanism on only the other... On the only other path to the north side of the base? Now everyone has to know how to cycle water out of one room and into the adjoining one for each of the three rooms in sequence without accidentally flooding the room they're in. We lost seven troopers just this week. Next time I'm there, I, you better show me how to do it properly. I can't afford to lose any more of my aids while trying to get to the cell calf. Adjutant. Sorry, sir, but we had to change the pump mechanism since one of those fish people swam into the intakes outside. The external flow controls push the water in... The external flow controls pull, push the water into the chambers north and south only now. The flow controls on the inside wall switches the water sides between east and west. The trick is to push the water to the north and south extremes, then switch the water east-west and walk through. The meters by the flow control panel show if there is water in the adjacent room. We've also installed life porn detection centers, so there shouldn't be any more aid problems. We're trying to get the system passed as quickly as possible, sir, but the Cellcath authorities monitoring our base have made this much more difficult. So, let's see. If I... So that means... If I press this... Okay, that means it goes over there. So I can go... Get out of my way, Jolie. I can go into here now. I can limp over here now. And... If I go like this... And can I just... Oh, but there's no control panel there. See, this is where the problems start occurring. So, we've got... This room... And this room open. But then in the third... So, so see, the way it works is that this room over here is filled with water now. And so is this room over here. And this room over here. So let's see. What have I got to do? Okay, now... There's water in what? Hang on, what? Should that... Did I just fix it? No. No, did I? I didn't change anything. Warning. Activating flow control may flood on... Um... Yes? Do you have to put someone out here and someone yes. in here and... Warning. Oh, 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 oh. That, that filled that one. And did I do it? Please. Yes! Okay, I'm not exactly sure how I did it. Look it up online. I've always been a little bit unclear on that. Oh, shit.